where news comes first. This is WECT News at 11. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Daniela Hankey. Shining a spotlight on female filmmakers. That's the goal of the Up Tilt Film Festival as it heads into its biggest year yet. WCT's Delaney Tarpley went to the kickoff party in the first film screening of the weekend. Delaney, what's the purpose behind this festival? Well, Daniela, the purpose of the festival lies in the name. Organizers tell me Up Tilt is a camera technique used to focus on a certain subject. In the festival's case, they want to focus on women in the industry. At the Up Tilt Film Festival, organizers say women wear the ties. So Up Tilt is the only female and gender expansive film festival in North and South Carolina. With the goal of amplifying women in the industry. To qualify for the festival, the film has to be written and or directed by a female or a gender expansive person, or 50% of their team has to be female and or gender expansive. Organizers say there's still a lot of work to do in the industry. Women are over 50% of the population, but we are represented in about 25% of films. And if you look at speaking roles, it's even less. Our industry specifically, I think, has been a boys club for a long time. We at our festival have proved that women can be in any role in filmmaking and succeed. Over the past eight years, founder Mariah Kramer has seen the festival grow to heights she never imagined. It's grown so much. We started out with only 20 submissions and screening 20 films, um, and now we have submission numbers in the hundreds. Submissions and filmmakers from all over the world. I thought this is the first film I've made. It's the first sort of one, and this will never come around again, so I thought I'm just going to make the trip out here. Scottish filmmaker Megan Shanley says it was the festival's premise that got her to submit in the first place, in hopes of one day reaching equality on film sets and award stages. I think it's in the 96 uh, years of the Oscars, I think there's been about seven nominations for female directors and only two have ever won. Women have stories to tell and they are just amazing storytellers. Tickets are still available for the rest of the events this weekend. There are three categories of films being shown tomorrow and four categories on Sunday. If you'd like to get in on the fun, you can pick up your tickets at Thalian Hall. Sounds interesting. Delaney, thanks so much for that report tonight.